We are here in the Caribe Tours station. And where are we going today? We are going to Arabacoa. We're going actually to Constanza, but first we have a special event. We're going paragliding. After paragliding, we were dropped off at the stop for the buses that run between Constanza and Harabagoa. We got in a bus that was waiting, or a guagua, it's kind of like a large van. The ride was about an hour, 40 minutes or so. We left around 11.30 and got there just shortly after 1. We just arrived at our Airbnb. I'll show you the view. So this is walking into the room. This cozy Airbnb is located in the center of town, a great location with many restaurants nearby. It was very comfortable and peaceful, and our host, Jose, was so friendly and helpful as well. We paid $33 a night, a price that would be hard to beat, in my opinion. The view is exceptional, and we had the outdoor patio area all to ourselves. It also has a fireplace out there. The building is split among businesses and apartments, so we had to make sure to close the entryway each night, which was fascinating to me, and I'll show that later on. We just arrived, but we decided we're going to climb up that mountain all the way up to that little house up there, El Nino Jesus, I think it's called. Wish us luck. We're gonna try to walk all the way from our hotel. So, let's get going. <laughs> That's just one kilometer away, so El Levino Nino, here we come. <laughs> there there's a city that's where we started and we're not quite done we have to go up more new strategy walking up backwards <laughs> I'm so silent I don't even know if I need a microphone I think we're almost there there it is We made it. It's been an hour and 12 minutes, but we made it.
did it. So we made it all the way back from way up there. <laughs> and we're back here before the sun went down, <laughs> thankfully. My Fitbit said it took us over two hours in total and we went about six miles, I think. No, more than that for sure. Let's see what we have for tomorrow. Well, vacation is for resting too. We tried to find a way to take a trip to Las Pirámides, but it didn't quite work out. There are tour groups that make the trip on weekends, but we were leaving on a Saturday. I would recommend planning in advance if you do want to go out there to the Valle Nuevo National Park or to the Aguas Blancas waterfall. From what I heard, it takes at least an hour, possibly two, and the roads are difficult even for a vehicle with four-wheel drive. Personally, I was content to just take the short taxi ride out to Fresas Arellama or El Ranchito de las Fresas. You have to make a reservation online beforehand, but you pay the 600 pesos per person upon arrival. This was a lovely experience where we got to try fresh strawberries, strawberry tea, and frozen strawberry juice, along with toasting marshmallows. We also learned a bit more about the history of the region. In the 1950s, Trujillo decided to create a Japanese settlement, giving them land in this area, in Constanza, so that they could become agricultural laborers and teach their knowledge of cultivation to Dominicans. Upon doing my own research, I discovered that the migration of the first Japanese people happened near the end of Trujillo's reign. After his assassination, many of the Japanese migrants fled to other countries amidst the turmoil of the civil war. However, a few families stayed and lived out their commitment to cultivating the land. By the 1990s, Constanza had become the source of 90% of the country's vegetables. I'll link an interesting article below which interviews a few of the Japanese people who migrated, including one by the name of Ariyama. I would suggest preparing your ears for what you're about to hear. It's called the Constanza Alarm, or Constanza Sirena, and it goes off four times a day. 
I believe this started in the 20th century. I'd go off at 7.45 a.m. to wake people up to know when it's time to go to work. Then it would go off, I believe, at 12 p.m. for the lunch break, at 1.45 again to mark the end of the lunch break, and then again at 6 p.m. to mark the end of the work day. <laughs> if you are headed to Santo Domingo, note that there are only two Caribe Tours buses a day that leave from Constanza. One leaves at 7 a.m. and the other at 5 p.m. So we were thinking of going to Jarabacoa back on the little Wawa that we had taken before, but we waited at the station for probably an hour and they weren't going anywhere and we were going to miss the bus because that trip took almost two hours itself. So we decided to find this other service, which someone had mentioned, called the Cobra Transporte, and they had a bus leaving at 1 p.m. So that is what we took. It went through Santo Domingo instead of the bypass that would end up in Santo Domingo Este. So after ordering an Uber, we finally got home around 6 p.m. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog of my trip to Constanza. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!